Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Ali. I have an early stage startup, it's called Bonobo. Uh, Bonobo helps you to uh, send and request uh, tangible goods like coffee, drink or food to your friends on your contact list via WhatsApp or SMS even if, though, if they don't have an application. So, uh, and also uh, find you and discover uh, someone nearby and uh, send her or him uh, something tangible also. So this is kind of a social pl platform, but uh, it's driven by real-time commerce. We have had two problems and two hubs in the digital uh, sector. One of it, uh, people like to share experiences on mobile. The second one is people like to discover uh, the people nearby and meet with them. So uh, we, we have to... Uh, we differentiate this with sending and requesting real tangible goods. And uh, we, I, I have a uh, statistics from uh, Turkish Institute, Statistic Institute, and monetize the com mobile uh, application company. So uh, uh, is, when we see that our daily lives, we, we are just using millions of units. The first one is cup of tea, and then it's just going on right there. So. Uh, and also, uh, we have a, we are just getting used of mobile banking and mobile money transfer in Turkey. So uh, we can say that people are uh, ready for uh, sending and requesting something on mobile and pay it with credit card on mobile application. So uh, if we do this with these something little uh, uh, little products, uh, we can just uh, make it happen. So. Uh, our target audience is mostly male, out there mobile person, just they are university students or white colors. They like to share experience with their friends, their brothers, their bros, or uh, they, they would like to find someone near, like a girlfriend or date nearby. So we have a two big uh, global business cases. One is Venmo. Venmo is a peer-to-peer -peer money transfer which is successfully made social paradig paradigms in money transfer. So they, they processed $5 billion in uh, 2015, uh, just in a, a one quarter. And the uh, average Venmo user opens app four to five times per week, which is very good insight for me. And the second global case is Tinder. According to the Elite Daily, in New York, uh, clubs and live music places traffic dropped by 50% because people just finding each other in, on Tinder right now. And also, uh, this application mainly used by males, and uh, there is uh, every. I can show you the iOS application and. Uh, okay. okay. This is this is the application, the basic screen, and uh, you will see the home page after that, after typing your SMS code and registering totally, and uh, you will see the person. And you will see Kalasi and over there. And Kalasi is just requesting something from me, and just I just wanted to send her a beer and just fill out my information with notes. And after all, uh, I paid with my credit card, and just notifies me of, of this. If she accepts this, uh, we can just start chatting, and that's all, basically. And <laughs> we have, we have. Uh, well, we have a chat tab, and we have a notification tab, which is quite good because you, you can see your friends and nearby people. What are they doing right now? So, uh, this is basically that's it. And uh, I can show you the you have an inventory on your profile tab, and you will see your products, which is which you receive, and you'll see where you can use it. And you can just you need to just uh, fill out these numbers to the POI system of the bank, and after that, it just completed. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, about this challenge, uh, we can collect data from these actions, and we use this to uh, show you merchant usage, product usage, demand of the, yeah, I mean, potential uh, shoppers and consumers. Uh, I can provide you real time. Also, I can give you your uh, segments and potential customer demographic data, as well as 
uh, I can predict who sent this. I mean, uh, this, this can be my friend, family, colleague, business uh, partner, or client, or my dates, or people who, are, who have an intense relationship with. So, also, uh, I can show you for uh, what for I'm sending this by uh, predicting the keywords of this message. So basically, I can show up you on your marketing side parts, defining and aligning segments, and understand market locally. And uh, you can also see your potential customers real time on, on merchant-wise, location-wise, and also event-wise. And uh, you can also see your demands. So about shopper insight parts, uh, we can analyze your target shoppers and cons consumers, why they are using this, and which product they are using this on, which keywords, I mean which emotions and patterns, they are send sending each other real treats, real tangible goods. And also I can, I can uh, give some kind of tips and tricks to, to guys like, this girl has a more response rate for a Pepsi, so you should, you should treat her Pepsi or stuff. And also, I can I have a popular popular tree section. You can just uh, you can just use this that point and also some kind of messaging tricks. So basically, I, I can gamify gamify the whole real time commerce stuff. So uh, I have some kind of barriers. First of all, uh, Tinder is a huge success for United States, but it's also successful for Turkey, but not so big. So a local target audience is kind of a little question mark for me. Because I would like to start in local but, and then want to go global, but who knows. Uh, treating frequency is kind of question mark, although Venmo has a weekly four to five times uh, open up rate. And payment gateway, which I'm also uh, talking with Turkish bank and also uh, another bank. So we are just going for agreement for this after I completely uh, finished my uh, technical uh, process. And uh, the trigger point is location-based social discovery and treating concept is quite good for a Turkish person, Turkish culture. And uh, the chat and notification helps you to stick more on this app. So uh, the pricing part, I can uh, show up you location-based price comparison, gender-based price comparison, and social price comparison, which includes the patterns uh, and emotions. And finally, you can also uh, target your audience and set up a giveaways or kind of campaigns specific person in order to treat another person easily or more convenient way by doing uh, with your product. So, thank you for listening to me. Can I go? In English. <laughs> commission-based uh, model uh, that I'm just sharing a little sum of with the bank uh, just taken from the merchants because I'm enabling this whole e-commerce system for merchants in order to get them much more uh, traffic so uh, Is that live? I have a, I have a beta app at the moment we are planning to be live and test it with real users uh, in next I mean, two months. In two months. Yeah. In two months, with both iOS and Android. Uh, I don't. I don't have a question, but um, I guess a comment and a recommendation. I think sure. uh, launching a new app is very hard. Um, launching a new social networking platform is even harder um, because uh, of the number of uh, users that you need in order for it to gain any kind of. Uh, uh, leverage in the marketplace. The idea is actually a really cool idea, but it's one that uh, you know Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram could easily execute on their own, particularly uh, Facebook Messenger with their yeah. open API. And so my recommendation would be is, you know, why don't you take this idea and make it into a platform that you could um, build into Facebook Messenger or into Instagram 
and kind of bring it as an advertising platform uh, using already existing APIs and an already existing um, user base, or Venmo, or really any platform that has a social-based uh, payment platform associated with it. Okay. About the export. Yeah, for one final thing. From what I have been preaching and teaching over the years, um, I have seen applications with the uh, business model of trying to get the you know, business moving um, after a certain number of people getting on board. Now, the advertisement thing is really the, the hardest thing that I ever that I always experience with. So, so if your business model is based mostly on advertising income. It usually, I've seen like 80, 85 percent of the businesses not moving anywhere. So I very much would like to recommend, you know, whatever else that are out there, you know, like going through the banks, going with the clients, you know, selling the products and so on, and trying to make transactions with them, agreements with them. That, that to me is a lot more viable and more important option to follow, because you know, it's, it's, it's just. Uh, was mentioned, uh, there are just too many of these apps available and it is very hard to make a new one to come alive and live for a long time. Yeah? Yes.